If you guys know this video, yes, this video right there. In this video, I just explain how Roblox update destroys <laughs> the simplest cars. So now people cannot make simple cars. They need to make advanced cars uh, that require some scripting and constraints, etc. So apologies. I also show you a different way to make a car. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I have comments and comments. So as you can see, I'm in this, I'm in this player, and if I drive it, and as you can see, this is the car that I absolutely made. It's renewed, better than the old one, by the way. The old one sucks. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Enjoy. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're going to insert a part, and then this is where our part begins. So we're going to raise it up and uh just resize the part well i'm just gonna put at like six to fit six to twelve yeah six six to twelve what are we gonna do is this is gonna be the base of the car and we're gonna do is we're just gonna duplicate by pressing ctrl d and then make it as a one by one uh for it. and you can use uh, one stud for movement if you want and for this one, this one is going to be the axle of the car, which is definitely, you know, the wheel makes it turn around. Uh, and, and we're also going to go to the part and go to cylinder. So we insert a cylinder and we'll put it right here and scale it. And then right here. Now this will be the wheel of the car. So yeah, this is a wheel. So uh, I'm going to do this by all of it. So here you go, I set it up the car as much as you want. Uh, you can pause this video if you want to see the setup. So this is will be the back, this is going to be the back side of the wheel, and this one's going to be the front side of the wheel. The front side of the wheel will be a little different than the others, so stick to that. So the first stuff we're going to do is we're going to go to this part, and we're just going to move like, like this. And then we're going to uh, rename this one called the axle i don't know why i have too many bait go right here and we're going to uh go to correct and press hinge and this will get the hinge first off we got to click the this part first click this one first and then go to this one and as you can see now you made a hinge constraint and we're going to set we're going to make parts called wheel so as you can see, now you have make your own wheel and we're going to do the same thing to all of it. So as you may see, I have made my own. So as you may see, this is the setup that you should be doing. So what? So how to do this is you must click the wheel first. When you make a hinge, you click this one first, and you and you put it in the axle. For this one, I recommend you should click constraint details. This will show all the details with constraints. Really helpful, really useful. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to click every hinge constraint. Click here, click here, and click here. Now. Since we got these, then we're going to do is we're going to set the angular type to motor, and then we got the D, then we got the properties. So uh, you see is there is a direction. So which way, so which motor is going? So first off, this wheel goes on this side, so it goes to this side, and this wheel goes to this side, so it goes to this side. So these motors have directions and yeah and make sure these axles must be welded to the base otherwise it may not work yeah now we got these two ones what this one do well this one's going to be very different so stick with me and we're going to do is we're going to create a hinge click on this part and then click on this part do the same thing again do this one that one now these now these two we're going to be the steering so we're gonna name it the steer now for these steers uh for these two hinge constraints so these are going to be the hinge constraints uh i'm gonna rename this one called the steering part this one's gonna be the steering part 
And then we're going to go to the insular type called the servo. Now, since you're done with it, this is so messy, but we're going to stick. Follow me, okay? Now, we're going to do is we're going to go click here, click here, and then we're going to group it. And then we're going to name the model, which is called the left wheel. And then if we click here and control hold this one and then group it and it's called right wheel so since we got these and make sure it's all correct at the same spot and once we've done that and uh, we're going to group it together which we'll call back wheel then let's go to this one so we're going to say this we're going to click here, hold control, group it, what we're going to call left wheel. Then we go here, click, 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 and go here, and it's called right wheel. And then you can check everything, everything looks fine, and then group both of them, which are going to be called the front wheel. And then leave the base as temporary. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and insert a vehicle seat. And then place it like around here. So, uh, we got the vehicle seat. Then, let's group everything together. And then we're going to name it car. You have successfully made your own car, but one thing is missing is the damn scripting. <laughs> All right, so once we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a while loop, while wait, do. But first we need to make some variables. Then I'm gonna say this local back wheels equals script dot parent dot back wheels. We're gonna do the same thing again, but this time with the front. All right, then we're going to make an end. And let's go ahead and uh, open up some properties and tell what these... These are going to be very important because it will help like the coding if you're kind of like confused. But you have to follow me with that. Now what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to have to set up the car. Even though you made properties, but you need to set up. And then we're going to say this. Back wheels dot left wheel dot wheel dot hinge constraint dot motor max torque so we're going to go to uh, it depends on the speed so i'm going to say about 10 about 100,000 and then we're going to copy and paste the same thing but this time we're going to have to say the right so it had the left and the right right there and also going to do the same thing with the front. Now I'm going to copy and paste these two. And then we're going to set these to the front wheels. I know it's currently the messiest coding I ever made. But you just stick with me. And this one are going to be the, uh, the accelerations for the setup. And we're going to do the steering. So we're going to set up the steering for this. So we're going to say front wheels dot dots i'm going to copy this part and we're going to do is we're going to say the axle hinge constraint okay so the axle has a different name which is called steering dot angler speed so it's angler speed will be equal to 50 uh it depends uh what your speed is uh, then we're going to switch the right wheel and the angular speed to 50. Then we're going to do is we're going to go do the steering. Then we're going to copy these both coding. And then we're going to say the target angle. So the target angle. I'll copy these both. And then we're going to say this. But first, we need to make a vehicle variable. So local seat equals script dot pair dot vehicle seat. And we're going to say seat dot steer times. 
And uh, for this one, please a little bit persistent about the angle. Like you can't say 180, that will ruin the steering. So I recommend do something a little lower, like about 30. I'm going to say 35. Now I'm going to do is the acceleration for the car. So we're going to copy this, this section of code. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say the, uh, the angular velocity. So I'm just going to copy this part and we're going to say velocity so for me uh let's go to this let's go back to here remember i said you know the arrows pointing like that one so that's what the problem about cars so you need to be a little careful about it so so i'm going to say this so this is the left wheel if the left wheels go this way then this one's a neg this one has to be put a negative if the right wheel goes on this side, then this one's going to be a positive. So we have to say this negative seat dot throttle times 50 and 50 means the, the speed, the, you know, you can change any speed like 100 or 50. I like 50 for sure. So this is the left wheel. If you see the left wheel, the left wheel goes to the this way. And if you see the right wheel, the right wheel goes on this side so so we're so i see left wheel so left wheel goes on the negative and we go to the right wheel let's just go right here and i don't know why i added an extra t all right since what since i think we're done everything let's go ahead and test it all right so i see i'm in this car let's see i can drive it so as you can see, I can drive the car, but unfortunately, I am going backwards, which is a pain. And oh my god, I can't, my, my car cannot steer. What a dumb car. So we got two problems. One, the steering is not working. And two, the car is going backwards. So how to fix this is uh, clicking the steer and the axle and the steer and axle. Find these two and make sure to set these can't collide off because uh, we don't want to, you know, can't interfere with the the base. So we need these can't collide off. And the secondly, the car goes backwards. So uh, what? So how to fix this is we're going to switch the switch the negatives. The left wheel go to the positive, and then goes to here, and then switch over here and switch over here. So if you have this one correctly. That means it goes forward. So as you can see, I have this car right here. So click right here. And then I can move as good as possible. And then I can turn and whoa, that, that turn though. So it moves kind of slow. So, uh, okay. So, yeah. So yeah, that's how you make a car that looks so slow. All right, so this is a good, good uh, customizable car, so you can just make one. If you want to make like customable parts, you must do one something to do, is you must weld everything to the parts. Yes, you gotta weld everything to the parts. So for this strat, uh, what are we gonna do is we're going to set our car, a primary part to right here. I'm going to say this. And then we're going to set can't collide off. Make sure all your parts are can't collide off. Otherwise, it will interfere the, the car. So we're going to put it in the car. No, not. Bruh. Okay, in the car. And we're going to do this. We're going to say this. Then we're going to say uh, for I, V, and pairs, script.parent colon get children do. Yeah, I'm going to say if V is a base part, then, then I'm going to say this. Uh, we're going to say local weld equals instance dot new colon weld constraint. Then I'm going to put it in the uh, uh, primary part. 
you want to say well dot dot part one equals is the primary part and then weld dot part one is the v so as you can see i have made this car it's a good old car and if i get in the car and as you can see it works like all it should be all right so that is all for this tutorial so uh if if you like this video please like it if you enjoy it otherwise subscribe to this channel and leave a comment if you have any question if you think it's helpful or not otherwise i'll see you in the next video peace out why am i going backwards again i'm pressing w in this game oh wow i suck like <laughs>